Well, as you can see, where I wanted to go today is actually submerged in water. <laughs> and it's not even high tide, it's like two hours to maybe like a high tide. In fact, I think it's been a high tide looking at the tide, it's going out, but it's been up here. And uh, yeah, that's a good sign. There might be some ladies on the beach, I'll just have to wait an hour or two. And hopefully that should have went down. And we'll do a spot of mud lacking on the beach and see if we missed anything. Well, good morning guys. How are we? My name is Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. Welcome along to this video. Today we're back at the embankment tip. We're going to go through the embankment. You can see how bad this storm has been here. Chewing up the whole foreshore. This came right up over. And to be honest, that's did me quite a favour because now I can get back into that hole that I was digging there. You can see it's about two feet of clay. I'm going to knock that away. Ah, and I'm going to have a right good go in there now. See what I can find bottle digging. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I get something good. I'm going to have a search about the beach because you can see a lot of foreshore corrosion. It's exposed to ash. And yeah, I think we will get some good finds from in here. Yeah, guys. Hi guys, how are we? My name's Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland finally get to start here because now the tide has receded a fair enough bit for me to go onto the beach at least and fall it out so I'm down here and there's just stuff lying everywhere a lot of damage to the embankments something in coal there check that out don't know what that would have been off of but I'm sure there'll be somebody out there that will know we will have a wander about also metal detect over that big pile We've also got Elman's Embrocation, quite a, a popular bottle in this area. I don't think I'll take it with me, I'll probably leave them here. Yeah, the best, <laughs> the best disinfectant. Yeah, bet it didn't beat Covid-19, but eh? <laughs> The best disinfecting, big litre bottle. Part of a plate here. See if there's any hall markings on it. Nothing on it. Probably 1940s. Obviously I'll get some of this glass picked up as well. And get it binned. A little vial or something. Some of these are known to be marked. So it's always worthwhile checking them. That's early, that's 1890s. Sauce bottle. And probably be a codal back house or nothing <laughs> blank sauce yeah another snapped up 1890 sauce whiskey flask broken ah, that's a gutter isn't it here there's another broken one right here oh, gutted I think that says clay bank on that just looking at it Oh, that would have been a lovely addition to my collection. John Weir, dispensing chemist, Clay Bank, eh? Anybody know how old that was? That's one that we should research, I think, see if we can find out now about John Weir, because generally your chemist bottles will give you a kind of indication of the era of age your tip is. Right now it's looking about 1890s, 1920s, judging by the bottles that I'm seeing. But that is a lovely chemist bottle. Pretty gutted, it's broken, but what can you do? So we'll plod on, have a metal detect over this spoil, and see what we can find. Well, there you go, guys. I'm walking about the foreshore. First one I found this morning is this Evan Williams. That's like a cathedral style bottle. I would say probably 40s on that. It's got a screw top, I think. Yeah. It's probably a perfume, but it's a cathedral style bottle, which is really, really nice. Lovely Evan Williams bottle there. Beautiful. Mm. Straight out the embankment. Look at that. Not to be taken. Very crusty, but yeah, beautiful. Another not-to-be-taken poison bottle straight from that embankment over there. 
I think we're going to have to go and get a pickaxe because that clay is solid. Well, the one thing I am hopeful of, if I get through it, there should be cream pots in it. Because any other time that I've went through this clay here, there has always been cream pots. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do a bit of live digging for you in there. If we can get a big enough hole, we'll get the camera set up and we'll do a bit of live digging. Well, can you guess what this is? This has just popped out the embankment. Very crusty, it's been in there for a long time, but I'm hopeful that should come off with a little wire brush. You can see it's starting to come off there. Lovely little telephone box. Look at that. For a beautiful little find. Beautiful little find there, telephone box. Well, there we go, another poisons bottle for in there. Crusty again. Again, it's all 1940s stuff at the front here. Always has been, but there is viral pots and cream pots in amongst it from Cooper's Toast and Rars. It gets a lot older as you go back, but yeah, beautiful. Another, I think it's a two ounce, two or four ounce here, poison bottle, clear, ribbed hexagonal, not to be taken. Beautiful. Again, a metal detected through the spoil, not a lot, a little bit of a spoon handle. Found it probably the spoon it was attached to. A door hinge and what is probably the remains of a World War II cartridge. Yeah, bullet, bullet cartridge. No bullet, unfortunately, but it may be in there still. Have a kind of scoot over it again with the old Nocta Macro Simplex and see if we can get any more relics. Well, another bit of a clay pipe. <clears throat> Will it have a name on it? Blank again. Nope, it's not. Finally one with a name on it. Possibly a Christie. Let's get this. Yeah, there's something just there, you can see it. I think it's a Christy clay pipe. Looks like it said Christy or Chrissy. But yeah, we'll get that home, we'll get it cleaned up and get you a better look at it. Well guys, look at that. That to me looks like a German doll's head. It's a small one as well, probably German. 1920s. Very nice. What do we nice hole? I found two clay pipe stems as well. I was scraping about, just having a wee scrape about. See if I could get anything off them. Yeah, nothing on that one. Most likely be the same for this. It looks too, just too far up to get a name. Yeah, that one's blank as well, but yeah. Nonetheless, it's still three pretty decent signs. It shows that there's clay pipes in there, so you could get a full clay pipe. And there's lovely doll's heads. They're very sought after by collectors. Well, I've dug this one out of the embankments. Check that out. I was going to say a Vapo Crystalline, but it's not. It's just similar in style. Uh, to the kind of ribs and that on it with the dots and ribs yeah that's a lovely bottle that i can't remember what it is i nearly called it a vapor crystalline but the vapor crystallines are actually clear and they say it on it but it's just a similar style to it again it's 1940s but nevertheless it's still a lovely little fine bottle Well, 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 digging into the embankments. Look at this big eight ouncer I've dug out. Not to be taken, green poison bottle hexagonal. Now there is a bottle you want to find there. Eh? Beautiful. That's about eight ounce. What a cracker, man. Well pleased with that, pulling that out. <clears throat> what an absolute beauty, woohoo. Quick digging again. <laughs> Jay's fluid. Beautiful, that's only about two ounces, I think. Possibly a two and a half ounce, three ounce here. Jay's fluid bottle, lovely brown, amber brown. Beautiful bottle, bottled by Jay's. There is another beltery. Eh? Cracking, we're starting to get some finds out of this wee hole in here now, eh? Get in. Got to fill this back in soon. But beautiful little find there, Jay's Fluid.
Not a lot's come out going down in the hole, but we will show you some of the stuff that's already came out, which I can't show you just quite yet. But yeah, once we start doing the back walls, we'll do a little bit of live with you and hopefully we'll get some nice finds. Well, well done to Andy. He's threw out another one, Dunrag at this time. Becoming Mr. Dunrag at himself these days on this tip, but beautiful. A beautiful little cream pot. What a beaut. Dunraggett Preserve Cream from the Dunraggett Creamery. Get in! Woohoo! Well, check that out. Andy's just threw out a lovely Cooper's Cream Pot well down the hole. Beautiful Cooper & Co. Glasgow, Liverpool and London. What a beautiful cream pot that is. Bit of rust on it, but that'll come off with a wee bit of Genelite. Beautiful Cooper & Co cream pot. Woohoo! What a beaut, eh? Get it in. Well, check this one out. Beautiful little penny perfume, I think it is. If it was being a poison, it would normally say poison down the middle. But yeah, that looks like a beautiful little penny perfume. But obviously, we'll show you these cleaned up. And we've got a lovely green, which looks like a miniature wine bottle from the 1930s. Very nice. Couple of little relics, had a wee quick dig in and that note guys, starting to lose the light. So I'm going to call it a day for this video. Good luck, happy hunting. And I'll catch you guys in another video soon. Bye for now. But yeah, possible comedy ginger beer here. <laughs> like I'll try to block it so I can't see. <laughs> it's a giant or comedy, I can see it on it, it's a green lit one. Definitely a green light one. No, a brown light. It's not coming, I don't think. It is, it's definitely. I've seen, I can read the bottle. On you go. I'll buy it. It's not coming. Aye, it is. Here it's there, look, Jai or Comrie. So it is. <coughs> On you go, mate. With a brown lip. Brilliant. Excellent, boys. <laughs> There's no meat fun that. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that have been lovely if it was a skate hole? I have to be careful what we're doing on here because there's stuff moving about constantly. But I'm trying to give you a, a kind of rough idea of what this actually looks like. Very nice big, it looks like a milk jug, which is nice. So here we go, back in again, another two bottles, lovely, Look, looks either like a salt seltzer or a gloy bottle. Possibly a gloy bottle, I think that is. Looks like a nice gloy bottle, which is nice, and I've got this beautiful little amber bottle again. Meat juices, isn't it? Valentine's meat juices, used to be a popular one down here. Lovely Valentine's meat juices bottle, what a cracker. Love it, lovely amber colour to that, beautiful meat juices bottle. Well guys, look at that, another couple of things from the beach, dressing hem weight and a lovely little 50 pence, it just goes to show this stuff's probably coming out of the embankment tips, and yeah, another two little finds, beautiful, gets in, love it, another two little finds, 